I'm a big believer that, you know, you go on a run, you're a runner. All you need is a pair of trainers, you put them on and you get going. I've always sort of grown up with the concept that running was something that you just do, but then got into it when I joined the army. In Afghanistan, it was literally running around a small base in circles over and over again in, in the boiling heat. And I used running as a, as a break, as a way of getting out. And it was one of the few times that you had a space to yourself. When you go trail running, even in a place like Barcelona, we have amazing mountains all around the city. And every single you know, day of the week, you can go out and you can discover somewhere different. And it's a great way of sort of clearing your mind. And it's great for your kind of your mental health in general. You know, when I came back from Afghanistan, running then became a way of sort of rationalizing, you know, everything that you've gone through. Like many runners, I started off running like a 5K and then a 10K and then joining a club. And I think being part of a community of people that were always sort of looking at new ways of pushing themselves, I began to kind of explore that distance beyond marathons. And I got really into to ultra running that way. I was really lucky to be posted to Israel and Palestine. And a friend of mine had told me about this group of young Palestinians who met up some three times a week and would run around the city. They set up this sort of running group just to be able to tell a different narrative about what was going on in Palestine to the ones that we always see on the news. The marathon itself now attracts people from all the way around the world. It showed that, you know, Palestinian people can have a normal life. I think it was just a sort of magical thing to be part of. I was sent out to Somalia and the first thing I wanted to do was find out, you know, where I could run. You know, every single day I was kind of out there and I was like, wait, hold on a second, like, I've run a half marathon here, we could turn this into a race and we could take what these Palestinians had done and bring that idea to Mogadishu. And everyone was like, it's just not going to happen. But we managed to organise the first marathon. We had about 40 to 50 young Somalis who for the first time managed to actually run a race in their country. Whilst obviously the Palestine Marathon, the Mogadishu Marathon won't change the world and bring peace, I think it's just another level of normal for people that have been starved with that for so long. With Midnight Runners, I'm really privileged to be able to run a global community of like-minded individuals. I mean, we've had some like rapid growth. Now we're in 14 cities around the world. You can be a fast runner, you can be a slow runner. We want to bring running to as many people as possible. I'm a big believer that running can be a great way of bringing people together that don't necessarily mix. You know, the last few years, I've met people from many different backgrounds. We're brought together with a shared passion and love for, for this sport.